Hello and welcome to Vanika Marie and our dope discussions. Um, today we're going to be having a quick discussion talking about how a lot of men are giving up on settling down. And the reason why so many men are giving up on settling down is for the simple fact that so many females don't qualify. And what's sad, you guys, is so many females don't even care that they don't qualify. It's really pathetic out here. Now, let me go ahead and say this before we go further into this quick dope discussion. There's a distinct difference between a woman and a female. Females are very combative, very entitled, very selfish, very self-centered. Whereas women, we're more open and receptive. We're more supportive. We're nurturing. We're understanding. We can be led and directed. You know, all of those good, great qualities women actually possess. You know, we understand our roles, especially in regards to men in relationships. Whereas females, they want this. Too many females want to be the king instead of playing the position of the queen. See, women, we know how to do this beautifully. We understand that being in that queen role, although it's in a more submissive role, we understand that it's still a power within that. Whereas the females of today, they want to be in the king's throne. And what's even more scary is that when it comes to these females, not only do they want to abandon the position of the queen, but they want to go about being the king in a toxic way. So instead of being the king, they actually want to be a dictator. Oh, oh, oh. And this is why so many men are giving up on settling down because why would I as a king, as a man that is self-sufficient, that is a, a leader, a, pro a provider, a protector, all of that. Why would I want to weigh myself down by being with a female that is ultimately going to what? Be in competition with me. So many females are in competition with the man. They want, once again, to be the king, to be the one that is in charge, in control. Men don't want that. Men don't want that. And unfortunately, we live in a society, in a culture today, where the females are outweighing and outnumbering, outvoicing the women. And so we're being drowned out. The, the real women are being drowned out by these females. This is why we as women have to start speaking up a lot more and being fair, being balanced, teaching these females how to become women because you absolutely can blossom into a woman if you are in that female type of realm to where your mentality is warped, right? And over here on Danica Marie Dope Discussions, we actually have our own terms that, you know, I created, which we call females such as those that are trying to be, you know, combative and uh, trying to be the boss and run things and be toxic. We call those GMOs. We call those GMO females, the genetically modified modern day females. And what that essentially means is you are not in your organic, natural state. You're not being authentic and true to who you are supposed to be naturally as a woman. So that's why we call you GMOs, all right? You're gen genetically modified out of your natural state, okay? We also call those type of females that are not trying to be in alignment, that are trying to be uh, toxic and controlling and ultimately just destructive. We also call you guys past me's. We call you pass me chicks. These are the females that you pass up if you are a real man. These are the type of females that you pass around 
if you are a low vibrational male, right? You, you, she, she gets passed from you to the homeboy to the brother. Like, yeah, I don't really care about her. You don't take her seriously, so you pass her around. Okay, these are also the type of females that get surpassed in life when it comes to real women, right? They are in their natural state or being organic and true to self, being queens, empresses, goddesses, whatever you want to call them. You guys get surpassed by those. So we call you guys passing chicks. And believe me, sis, this, these are not categories that you want to fall under. You do not want to fall under uh, pass me chicks or GMOs. No, you don't want that. You want to be an organic, authentic, real woman, right? You're in tune with self. You're in alignment. That's what you want to be. And so many females are not falling under the, the category of being an authentic, true woman, you know, a cooperative woman, a woman that is going to be nurturing and understanding, compassionate. She's going to listen. Right. She's not going to be listening to respond. She's trying to listen to retain. Listen to gain. Right. That is the type of woman that men are looking to settle down with. But too many of y'all females today, again, y'all want to compete. Y'all want to fight for the man's role while neglecting your natural organic role, which is to be more submissive, be in that, su that supportive role, to be of assistance. And again, it does not mean that you are less than. It does not mean that you are less than. It actually brings about balance, which brings about peace. But if we're too busy over here trying to compete with our men for their throne and their position, and we're actually going about doing his position in a toxic way, all it's going to do is butt heads. All we're going to do is fight and butt heads. And men have it in their minds, what's the point in settling down if that's what I have to look forward to? I don't want to be in a relationship to where I'm constantly trying to fight for my right to be who I am. And that's what a lot of females are presenting to men these days. And again, we don't qualify. No man wants to come home and fight when he just had to spend his whole day fighting against the world, competing with the world. I don't need to come home and compete with my woman. That's ridiculous, right? So men don't want that at all, at all, at all. Next. The reason why so many men are giving up on settling down is because so many of us today, females, are uncoachable. Mm. This is a major one. This is a major one. Now, you guys know how I just said that you can be a female and blossom into a woman, you know. And if I didn't say that, I was thinking that like you can be a female and then graduate into becoming a woman. Right. And so if you are not being receptive, being open. Right. To new ideas, to new perspectives. Then how can you blossom? How can you grow? How can you evolve? How can you elevate if you're closed off, if you're shut off? And because too many females today are uncoachable and they can't blossom into a woman and ultimately become a queen or a wife or whatever. It's like, I don't want to deal with that. Men are natural born leaders, natural born teachers. So if you are the type of woman that is not trying to be the student, I have no purpose for you. And here's the catch to it all, you guys. Ladies, listen up to me. Although a man is looking for a woman to be receptive, to be coachable, to be teachable, to be the student, by you becoming that and being those things, you will gain more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that he will one day need. See, it's a time and a place for a queen to step up. It's going to it's going to come a time where your king is going to need your insight. He's going to need your wisdom. And from the things that he is teaching you, 
or exposing you to, you know, and instilling into you, you're going to be able to implement those things and actually help him to grow the kingdom even further. So that student, by you being the student, you'll also be able to be the teacher and the leader when and if need be as well. And you're going to be able to add on a new perspective, give him more insight and clarity. So it does not mean that you're just going to be like this bump on the log or this doormat to where you just got to shut up and listen and take orders. Like, no, it's going to it's going to come a time to where your king is going to rely on, you know, the things that you have learned, the things that you have gained by being a student to give him more insight and clarity. And ultimately, once again, have the king to thrive and grow even more. But if you're uncoachable. And you are know-it-all. And you know best all the time. Again, how can we do that? If, again, you're trying to be the dictator, how can we do that? And so many men are like, you know what? It's a headache. It's a headache. I would rather just be by myself. I would rather do it by myself, be alone, and just deal with females when I feel like dealing with them, you know, versus actually committing to one and settling down with one or marrying one and, and basing my whole entire life around one, I would rather just deal with females sporadically when I feel like it versus doing all of that if I'm going to be met with a bunch of resistance and a bunch of friction anyway. Again, so many females don't qualify for a husband, for a man to take them seriously, for a man to co commit to them fully. You know what I mean? Next. And this is also really big. And I would say that this one right here is like the grand finale, right? I come across this complaint more often than not. And for those of you guys that are new to my channel, you know, although I'm holding everybody accountable as far as men and women, uh, I do have a... Uh, a platform that consists of majority male, right? I think my platform is like 95% male. And so a lot of them are coming to me and they're and they're voicing their concerns and they're having these complaints. And a lot of the a lot of their complaints do vo boil down to this very thing right here. Too many females are users. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Too many females are just flat out users. Like and they don't even hide it. You know, they don't even hide it, which again is contributing to men just being like, you know what? I, I No, I'll be by myself because at least I know I have my best interest at heart. You know, I know I'm not going to take me for granted. I know that I'm not going to take advantage of myself. So I'd rather be by myself. But when it comes to these females of today, they're just users. It's all about them. It's all about how we can... Uh, make their lives better or make their lives easier or provide for them and you know what I mean like sustain and maintain their lifestyle but none of them are really thinking about how they can put us at ease or make our lives more enjoyable or give us anything to look forward to or really go hard in the paint for right because let's, let's not get it twisted a man taking care of you is absolutely a luxury and that requires a lot of hard work on his end. It's much easier. Listen up. It's much easier to just for a man to just be by himself because at least all I have to do is take care of me. That's less money. That's less time. That's less energy. You know, it's more convenient for me. I don't have to take into consideration other people's feelings or how this will affect other people. Like, it's all about me. But when a man takes on a woman... Right. It's it's much more difficult to just make certain moves. Right. I have to work harder so that I can make more money so that I can um, establish myself even more so that I can be able to not only take care of myself, but also this woman and then potential offspring. You know what I'm saying? And so if. I'm going to be met with a bunch of users, 
a bunch of females that are just self-centered, feeling like they're just a prize just because they have a vagina or whatever. Like, what's the point of that? What's the thrill in that? What's the incentive in that? Why, why would I bust my ass to just be somebody's simp lollipoppy, right? And that's another term that we made up here over on Zanika Redope discussions. You know, simp lollipoppy is basically a simp. And if you don't know what a simp is, it's just a, a weak guy, you know, that's a doormat for, for women. That's just an easy lick, a sucker which is why we call them a lollipoppy, right? A simp lollipoppy. Like, you, you don't want to be that. And so men are just like, like real men. And ladies, make no mistake about it. When I'm talking about these type of men, I'm talking about the men that are providers, leaders, teachers, you know, good fathers, good husbands. Those type of men, they are expecting for their women to be in alignment with them, to listen, to be receptive, to know her role and not move from her role, not abandon her role to try to be in competition with him for his role. And again, I gotta, I gotta bring this home and say that a lot of us females today are trying to be men or kings, but we're doing it in a toxic way. Both is a problem. It's a problem that so many females in general are trying to be in that male position. But on top of that, the double whammy is you're trying to be in that male position and go about it in a destructive way. So men are really like, oh, hell no. I'd rather be by myself. This is why they're giving up, ladies. This is why they're like, you know what? I just would rather be by myself and deal with females accordingly, if at all, you know? And then so many of us wonder why we're just pumping dumps. What's a pumping dump? Well, I didn't make up that term. That was actually something that my subscribers brought to me. I had no idea what that was. But uh, I, from what I gather, a pumping dump is just a female that you just have relations with and then you discard of her. You dump her off to somebody else. Again, that ties into my term though, of, of being a pass me chick. Somebody that you just pass around. And, you know, unfortunately, that's what a lot of us are today. And we don't care to be in alignment. That's the ultimate scary part about this whole conversation is that so many of us don't qualify for these good quality men, but we complain about not having certain treatment or we complain about not being able to have access to certain uh, caliber of men. We don't qualify for it and we don't care. We just would rather shame them into just accepting our behavior. That's the truth of it all. We would rather just shame a man into just tolerating us instead of doing the self work. And what's also scary is that we know what it requires already. We know what it takes to get a quality man. We just don't want to be those things because that requires us to do self-work. That requires us to um, take accountability and responsibility and, you know, reflect on ourselves and our own flaws. And a lot of us would just rather pretend like we don't have any flaws and we are the prize and there's no work for us to do and just take me as I am. Which is very hypocritical also because a lot of us would not take a man as he is. Would you want to be with a broke man? In the beginning stages, a lot of you guys would not. Would you want to be with a man that is not a provider? No. Would you want to be with a man that's not going to take care of you and your children? No. So why should a man want to settle down and get with a female that is not embodying the traits, the characteristics, the personality, the mentality, the behaviors, of that of uh, uh, a wife, but that's all I have for you guys. Y'all, let me know how you feel about this quick, dope discussion down in the comment section below. 
let me know, you know, are you giving up on settling down as a man? Like, what are you being met with? What is contributing to you having that sentiment, you know? Or do you still have hope? I hope a lot of you guys still have hope, fellas. You know, it's plenty of great women out here. It's just about, you know, weeding through the nonsense, although I understand it could be very difficult to do so. And also maybe taking a female that is able to be coached and see a different perspective in and molding her and creating her into something that that she would like. But, you know, let me know what you are dealing with. Um, ladies, let me know if you're having this type of struggle as well as a, a woman, you know, having to maneuver around these pass me chicks or these GMO females that are just, you know, trying to get in the way of us as women understanding our roles. You know, let me know if if you fit under that category or if you are a past me chick or a GMO female and you feel like what I'm saying is just a mammy pick me stuff, let me know how you feel as well. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm open to everybody's perspective. Um, just let me know. All right. And again, y'all be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right. And come on back for more of our future live dope discussions. And if you're new also, uh, make sure that you understand that we go live each and every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, okay? So you definitely need to hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss out. And then sometimes we also go live randomly, all right? Also, you guys, feel free to email me at dmariepoet at gmail.com if you have any relationship topics, suggestions, concerns, you know, whatever. And if I feel like it's dope enough, we will turn it into a live dope discussion. Or I may do another quick, um, you know, video such as this. That way you guys can have, you know, your answers to whatever questions or concerns or suggestions that you may have had. Also, feel free to send your girl a dollar. Okay, that is my cash app, demarie0291, um, to contribute to your favorite little big sister, okay? And also the platform as well. But show some support, you guys, if you would like to. You don't have to. It's not a requirement, but it is greatly appreciated. And I usually don't even ask for it, but so many of my uh, crown heads, okay? That's what I call my uh, subscribers, all right? We call uh, our subscribers the crown heads. So many of my crown heads are like, look, you, look, Danica, uh, I, I would love to support your platform, but I don't like cash app, or, or not cash app, but I don't like super chats or stuff like that. So I would like the money to go directly to you. And so I just make sure that it's available for them, for those of you guys who do want to support in that way. But I'll see you guys later. I'm getting ready to run my commercial for my book. My book, if you're new, is called Submission is Not the Enemy. It is a key factor to a healthy relationship. It will be listed down in the description box below. So feel free to grab your copy. It's a quick, simple, easy read. It's both for men and women, all right? Men and women are addressed in this book. We keep it fair and balanced. Although I may hold women accountable more on my platform, best believe we hold both men and women accountable and we make sure that we are we're addressing both sexes, okay? It is, it is no pandering over here, okay? There is no caping over here. This is just being truthful, right? And so ladies, uh, if you are new to our channel as well, don't take it personally. If it doesn't apply to you, ladies, just let it fly. You know, this is for the majority. And the majority of us out there today, unfortunately, they need this 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 work, okay? And so that's why we do that, how we do that, okay? That's why we're so honest and and and, and brutal sometimes and blunt sometimes because we, we need we need that checking as a lot of females today. A lot of females today, unfortunately, are past me chicks. They are GMO. They are out of their natural uh, element and stay. And so I don't want you guys to be offended by the commentary. It just what it, it is what it is. All right. But let's run this commercial. And if you love the book, you know, after you purchase it, feel free to head on over to Amazon and leave a review for your girl. Let me know how you feel about the book. All right. But I got to go. Sadiqa Marie Dope Discussions. We're out. I'll see y'all later. Much love and peace. Submission. Okay. Let's be honest. We've been programmed to hate that word. Want to change that and tap into your feminine energy at the same time? You can. Introducing Submission is Not the Enemy, a basic yet powerful book written in simple language, practical, and easy to digest. It's your first steps on your journey to perfecting the woman inside of you. Available at Amazon.